Good to see you, Hunters. Here we go again with the Polar Bear and Grizzly Bear. Let me explain briefly why we do this video. This is a story in three acts. Act 1. The Polar Bear was released in March 2016. The Grizzly Bear was released in October 2016. Now this is important. At their release, apparently both bears were broken already. They did not flee as intended, and that's why we could run up to them and shoot them easily. Act 2. These bears started to behave totally different somewhere in the fall of last year. I made a few videos showing how incredibly hard the bears had become to hunt, in comparison to before. Act 3. EW fixed the bears this week, but didn't really explain the fix until their status update today. Now there's finally some light shed on the situation. Even though a lot of players had complained about the unrealistic behavior for almost two years, the issue was only fixed now. The purpose of this video will be to find out how to hunt polar bear and grizzly bear now that they have their actual behavior that was intended from the beginning. Now of course we will not run after the bear. When I did the video yesterday running after them all the time, I really wanted to compare how it was before the apparent fix. Uh, but now that we know that the bears behave as they should, we're supposed to hunt them properly, we're supposed to look for tracks, listen for calls, and then sneak up to them. We cannot run at them, that is no longer possible. What we want to find out today here, of course, is what does it take to sneak up to them? How hard is it? I do wear the camo clothes for the fall reserve, so this will certainly play a role. Also, I brought the bow, just in case we can really get close enough. So here I am crouching through the woods. I have followed two male bears and I was not able to catch up. I had fleeing on both and I want to spare you with the footage of this because this was up here in the steeper mountains and it's horrible to track them here. Now I have a call from a female that is straight ahead here. I'm gonna try the small female. The two bears, the two males were pretty big, both around 300 kilograms. But anyway, this all doesn't matter now. Let's focus on this female bear here, down here in the Hopefully a bit flatter area. Here is a fleeing track. So that's the answer of where one of my big ones went, one of the big male bears. I've been really crouching around. I have my camo stuff. And um, I did film it, I did comment it. And at some point, it just doesn't fit together anymore. When you when all you get is fleeing tracks, you run out of uh, explanations. So I will try the female instead. I can hear breathing, which is a really good indication for where the bear is. Pretty close now. Oh, bear's coming after me. Look from how far. She needs to take three attempts to attack. And there she runs. So she was attacking me. And now she runs away. And she couldn't reach. Now that's an issue. <laughs> That is a little issue in the software. <laughs> so they can attack you, but they can only run so far. You know this when bison or bears or hawks attack. They can only run so far. And now she really attacked from pretty far. That almost reminds me a little bit of the water buffalo. They attack from 40 meters away. She attacked and ran out of attack, if you will. <laughs> and now she's fleeing. And now I'm crouching after a female bear. That might be easier. 
Let's do this. That's an old track. So this one is the rec most recent fleeing track. I wish I had seen her and could have measured where she started to attack me. But now again, this is a small female. This is a hunting game. I should be able to catch up somehow with it and uh, get it in range without it running or attacking or something. Uh, let's see how close we can get to this one. Here I am crouching after a tiny female grizzly bear. I'm not sure if it keeps fleeing from me. I still have fleeing tracks. Been having them for quite a while now. And I've been just thinking about this attack. I'm not sure how far away it was when it started attacking me. Maybe 30, 40 meters. It ran to me. Then it ran again a bit closer. And then it ran away. So either the animal should attack and then it should come all the way. Or it should run away in the first place. What's the point of, of this uh, half-ass attack, if you will? I think what happened really is they changed, yeah, they changed the the distance from which they attack, but the attack moves and animations and all that didn't change. It can maybe run 15 meters and that's it. Okay, so this is a small female. I've been really cautious. I have my camo clothes. I'm listening to where the breathing is. Why do I feel I just can't catch up with this one? Fleeing. Fleeing, this little, small, tiny female bear keeps fleeing from me. So let me just summarize what I did up here. I had a large bear, I followed it, I crouched, I saw it in the distance, I crouched closer. All I had was fleeing tracks. I went after it, I heard another big one. I went into that direction. I was hoping to see it. I could never see it, I saw the fleeing tracks. I heard this female, I started crouching towards it. And then at least this one attacked me. So it didn't uh, run from the same uh, distance away. At least it attacked me, but then it ran away. And now I'm crouching after it, like behind a trophy animal. This is grizzly bear hunting 2018. And by the way, this is now final. Um, they are now sure that it's correct, even though it wasn't twice. But um, it is what it is. This is now grizzly bear hunting. And... Um, I've done this many times. I've been crouching after brown bear and black bear and polar bear and the grizzlies as well after they broke. And it's only fun so much. At some point you get frustrated. If this little tiny female keeps running from so far away, then all we have... All we have left is shots from a distance. If we can crouch close enough, they will attack you, but they cannot reach. <laughs> and then they will run anyway. So my advice would be, when you see them, shoot them from any distance. This bear has gone back to roaming and as you see i will really have to be really lucky here maybe i can spot it in the distance i'll give it another try and in the meantime i'll have to fill this endless crouching with talking um, some people have asked me why do you bring the rangefinder and the binos, oh, this was close. I bring the rangefinder because this has a rather short uh, view. You see a lot of black frame and you've got a smaller zoom. This is a seven times. 
the binos is an eight times and you have a wider view the the black areas on the sides are, uh, are a lot smaller if I can say it so this one is a lot easier to use the binos but sometimes I want to measure the distance so I have the rangefinder as well yes it is a waste of space but to me it has served greatly and I will keep doing this so when you see this in the videos that's the answer to this and if this is fleeing then uh, come on leave me alone this is it I will try uh, down in the flatter areas in the wider areas hopefully we have a wide view on on a bear we can see it from a distance um, but crouching after it no more okay I can clearly hear breathing ahead yes about this direction I haven't seen any tracks I haven't heard any calls from Grizzly I just hear it breathe and I will start crouching now going in this direction let's see what we find so this might include some boring parts oh no <laughs> this might include some boring parts now I was just gonna say uh, we have a fleeing track from a grizzly so far so good I mean this can be, this is okay I had elk calling so I kept uh, walking here so that's okay bear fleeing is fine but I hear it breathe if that's the one there's a water body ahead I think that's a lake yes I was hoping I could have a bear call and then start playing it from there going closer spotting listening the breathing is gone not with the wind but with the bear but still I believe so far so good in this situation you when you walk around you will always find fleeing tracks because there's only one animal that can call and tell you where it is the others in the area you will run into so my hope is down around the lake to take advantage or to have an advantage of the wide view and we just had a elk running over there so I'm thinking that might have also ran before and was nervous what do we have here oh great there's the beer is it gonna attack from over 40 meters away 50 meters away can you reach me you can't okay well at least now we can enjoy a little bit what not many people will see and now it runs away so same situation it attacks is that like a mock attack and then it uh, goes away anyway so so much for this one we have a male bear in this direction it's not going to be nervous it hasn't fled from me so this is now a proper bear if you will and hopefully we can see it just over the hill again camel cloves here in the woods it works it doesn't work out in the grassland 
but quite honestly, I feel I'm already going too fast towards this. Should I go on my belly now? It was interesting to see the stock bear turned around and started attacking. I don't think I've seen this before. So I'm really going slow here. I have breathing. Down here I hear something. So we have finally the track. But the bear is nowhere. I just heard it run. I believe I just heard it run. So if this one was still here, it did. Uh, it decided not to attack me. Is one of these fleeing? Yes, this one is. Maybe you saw it. If I d if I spotted it and didn't realize that I looked at it, my apologies. This one is fleeing. So I will focus on the breathing here. Is this our female? Now I was too slow for to pick up the other call. So if I was you, I would shoot this bear now. At least if you want to kill some of these. Let's mark the place. There's a lot of stuff there. I mean, trees and rocks. I hope it's not going to run and again get stuck. Uh, let's go closer like this. We can measure the distance. 80 meters still there. Yeah, it is stuck. So let me come from the other side. Oh. There it runs. I was 60 meters away. And there it is stuck again. All right, so maybe they should work on getting these animals unstuck uh, instead of, um, oh well, whatever. Tiny bear runs from 60 meters. So this is my summary on the grizzly bear. They run from far away. You have to shoot them when you see them in the long distance. If you get really close, they may, might attack you, but they might not reach. But at least you have a chance to shoot them. Um, I had two attacks, both bears did not come all the way, they ran away. I know there's a lot of good hunters out there, you will have lots and lots of advice how you can do it better. I'm an average player, to me this animal is pretty much uh, lost as far as um, hunting game. I will no longer go after grizzly, when I see tracks I will just keep them. Uh, I want to go over to White Ram Ridge and check out the polar bear. Polar bear, 21 minutes away. Oh, there's more tracks from the same. Which is the youngest? 
Oh, then it turned. Okay, so it's, it went this way. And I have a circle. And this is important to mention. I have been walking here, coming from the south. It could have hurt me walk. It depends on where it went from here. If it went straight ahead towards the shore, should be okay. Oh, I've got a fox running. That's not going to help the bear hunting here. Took a right and are we still roaming? Yes. But what's the track over here? Oh, an old one, okay. So let's keep going this way. Fleeing bear. No, I want this one. Nine minutes ago. That was not fleeing from the fox that just ran. That is fleeing from me walking in. Here is the track. Here I came. And it was fleeing from here, so maybe it hurt me as I was coming here. And that is maybe 100, 150 meters away walking. You guys know what's coming now. Crouching, crouching, crouching. I'm just thinking if I want to do this, if I want to torture myself with this. Just checking, there's a shore here, it's an open area. Maybe we can see something. So I'll go a bit closer. Then the next would be to go further towards the peninsula. I really want to have a bear call uh, and then approach it like we just had with the um, grizzly bear. I tried to sneak closer and eventually it ran away. Here it returned to walking, roaming. And after I detected the tracks, I started crouching. So the axis that you see all the way to the right on the hunter mate, those were the first few tracks I picked up. From there I've been crouching. So we might be lucky. And this is how close it is. And we had the fox running. <laughs> Are we lucky enough? Can we get closer to the polar bear maybe? It's fleeing. What is this one? A really close bear. Male bear. So far still roaming. So we have two bears fleeing in this direction. I think we should at least see one of them. There goes one of them. Is that the large one? No, nope, that's a small female. Oh, maybe that's him. All right, come over here. He's trotting. 
I don't think I've seen this. Yes, come over here. 128 meters. Now, of course, he's nervous. So they flee easier when they're nervous. So this wouldn't be a bear that you walk or crouch into. That is in uh, the normal state. That is just relaxed. How close can I get? 95 meters. Polar bear running. So this was a very short session here because I'm giving up frustrated. Polar bear runs from 95 meters away. All right, so we tested the new bears, the polar bear and the grizzly bear. They were fun uh, while it lasted. It was not realistic, I admit, but we could run up to them. We could have a little fight. We could uh, try all of our weapons on them. Sometimes they attacked, sometimes they ran. They were kind of fun. Then they broke and ran, and now they are fixed. This is the final solution. Polar bear and grizzly bear are very skittish. If you can surprise them, if they're really close, they might attack you. Maybe they can even reach you. I don't know. Tell me if you have such an experience with the new bears. Um, leave a comment below the video. What is your experience with these new bears? For me, the experience is that I have just lost two animals that I'm going to hunt. I'm glad I've reached 1,000 for each, so I don't have to bother anymore. That's it for grizzly bear hunting and uh, polar bear hunting. You might have uh, sensed a little bit uh, the, the frustration in my voice um, because I'm really, I really am. I'm frustrated that um, these bears are now in their final stage, pretty much useless. Um, excuse the term. But that's what it is. Anyway, I hope you had fun watching more than I had pl uh, fun playing. This wasn't much fun, really. And uh, <laughs> we'll see you again in an, at another uh, occasion when uh, it's more fun, when it's better. Thanks for staying throughout the whole session here. And uh, until we meet again, thank you very much. Stay in touch.